pouring on us, and it's like 40 degrees. Uh, Body temperature dropped so fast right now. Uh, we were like kind of like, doing okay until it started pouring on us. We should bring in for probably. We could actually get hypothermia. Stop raining! One man, one woman, exposed and alone. She's scary. At nature's mercy for 21 days. Ah! There's a bear outside my shelter. With no food, so no water, hurt real bad, no clothes. Alligator down here. Do they have the skill Fire! and the will to survive? Naked and afraid. I don't think we're gonna make it. Deep in the vast windswept wilderness of Ontario, Canada, lies the area of Bark Lake. A rugged patchwork of thick hardwood forest and frigid lakes and marshlands. Even in summer, stiff winds and frequent thunderstorms can lead to daytime temperatures in the 50s and near freezing temperatures at night. It's also prime feeding season for such dangerous cold weather mammals as black bears, wolves, and moose. Moose can grow to over 700 pounds and will charge and trample humans if they feel threatened. I have goosebumps all over my body. Uh, I've been out here 20 minutes and uh, it's quite chilly. I'm Cassie Turner from Honolulu, Hawaii, and I'm a marine biologist. I'm tired of everyone thinking I'm just some dumb blonde girl whose primary goal in life is to be pretty. People underestimate me all the time. I've been practicing wilderness survival since I was a little kid. My grandpa would take us hunting and trapping. So I've got my survival plan pretty well mapped out. All the different ways I'm gonna try and kill things. <laughs> she begins with a primitive survival rating, or PSR, of 6.7. I am most nervous right now about uh, the cloud cover. Kind of adverse to getting wet and cold. My name's Greg Wells, I'm 35 years old, and I'm just finishing up a 15-year career in the military. I work with U.S. Army Special Forces. We train multinational forces and do combat operations worldwide. So I'm very confident in my skills. If you can't start a fire and you're relying on that fire starter, that's not primitive. That's naked and you're an idiot. He deploys with a PSR of 7.2. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Greg. Cassie, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. So, you ready to do this? <laughs> so, it's so. a chilly day, yeah. Well, it's a little cold, but that's all right, you know. It's a nice way to start, nice and brisk. Yeah. When I see my partner for the first time, I'm thinking, he looks warm. <laughs> so, I'm excited for that. How are your feet feeling? Oh, my feet are great. Good, good, good. I'm just thankful it's, it's really actually quite soft with all these little fern things. I know, it's nice. It's like carpet. All the luxuries of home. <laughs> Mine is like warmth. Is this bear That That it is. In an environment like this, you have a lot of bears, you have a lot of wolves, and moose Ah. Oh, there's a lot of moose poop. Those are predatory animals, and you may actually be what's for dinner. This is nerve wracking, though, coming up on some place where you think there's a bear. So yeah, as far as this warmth and stuff at night is concerned. I'm a snuggler, so I'm on board. Are you married? I am. Oh, okay, gotcha. I 100% respect your wife and her allowing you to be here. We can huddle instead of spoon. How about that? So that kind of alleviates uh, my wife's fears of the spooning part. Whatever works for you. Wow. This is going to definitely get us out of the bugs. It's going to be a bit pokey, uh, and it may be an area frequented by bears. Mm. You think? I don't know. Given this rock and everything, I don't think they're going to come out here. We find a good spot out on um, a granite rock face. It's a little bit open, so we get a little more daylight. It's dry. You know, we're not going to be sleeping in the marsh. I'm going to start with the fire. Got faith in you, Greg. You got this. I do the partner method of using a bow drill. So one holds, one saws. Makes things a lot easier. It's a lot more stable. Oh, sorry. Ah. Smoking, but not quite enough. Let's keep going. It's 
looking a little light. How did that not kick? That was perfect. That should have worked. That that was, I mean, you can't get any better than that. Ember, right there. Bam, yeah. burn it. I hope that you can see that my pee is steaming on the rock because it's freezing here. This is the frosty nest. It was our shelter, which had a roof, and we have taken the entire roof and made it into blankets. I think it's getting colder out here. I might have to get up, Cassie. I'm freezing. On the verge of hypothermia, Cassie and Greg deliberately avoid going to sleep. <sighs> anything to raise our body temperatures because it's so cold, we're really afraid that we might come down with hypothermia. Since it lowers metabolic rates and can suppress the body's natural warning signals, sleep can actually exacerbate hypothermia. I definitely won't make it through 21 days like this. Without fire, we're not going to make it. This sucks. It went from cold to fog. We were really, really excited for some sun rays to shoot on us, and instead we got fog. We're dehydrated. We haven't had a substantial source of water. You know, we come down to the tough decision that, you know, we got to drink. I'm so scared of this water. Don't be. We're going to purify it right here, and you're going to be good. I remember that the moss around here has iodine, which Anyone who's been in the wood knows that you use iodine for purification of water. Probably want to drink on the opposite side of the dirt. Oh, my god. Mosquitoes. What you think? It's water. It'll keep us going. Yeah, it kind of tastes like mm, It's a little gritty. Yeah, but it's Whatever it takes. It's whatever it takes. I don't believe this. Huh? Chipmunk just ran in our hut and ran back out. We just had a visitor. We're probably gonna eat him, like <laughs> tomorrow. I want to name him Monster. He's gonna go over and eat all of our blackberries before we get over there again, fat little. Oh, since we're having a hard time keeping the coal going, we should use the cedar board. We finally find a cedar board to use for the bottom, which we've been looking for the whole time we were here. So I feel really good about fire today. I feel like we can get it. OK. You got this. Looks good. Oh, yeah, it's sparking. I see that. Looking good. Yes. Oh, 
back out. really scary. Greg almost going down with hypothermia. I underestimated this environment. I was just in complete doubt that I was going to make it at all. Cassie really picked me up. She got me through it. You literally saved my life last night because I was going down fast and, you know, coming over, giving me some body heat that I, I just couldn't produce anymore. I really appreciate it, though. Thank you. It really hits home about how real of a survival situation we're in and how we need to lean on each other for support. We need to go faster. All right. You got this, you got this. Looking good. Getting a lot of smoke. Sweet you take them real quick, quick, quick. I'm trying. We we'll get a couple of these good pieces going here. Woo! Damn, that's hot. I like it. <laughs> I have made fire. It was beautiful. You know, probably, probably the best thing I've seen since I absolutely was dying, literally, to have it. Look at our fire! People don't understand what six days of no clothing, no bedding, and 40 degrees nights feels like. To finally have warmth again is, is amazing because we're really starting to need it since we're losing all our body fat from not eating. Oh, there's a frog. Got one. Two. Got him. Holy cow. Ready for dinner? Yes. We've got lake vegetables, frog legs, and blackberries. Oh, come here, you delicious Oh, wow. It's so good. That was really good. Good work, Cassie. Thank you. Good work on that fire. Having a great partnership with Cassie is the critical piece of what we have right now. If we continue to grow, then we're going to make it through the hunger, the you know sleep deprivation, the cold, the rain, everything else. We're, we're going to make it right through that. Canada's about to see what's up now. Right now, I'm collecting some acorns for me and Cassie. Acorns from black oak trees are considered the most bitter in the world. They can cause severe diarrhea unless the tannins are leached out through several stages of rinsing and roasting. I'm going to boil them down a little bit later. Kind of use this to supplement our nourishment right now. Come on, baby. Try that one. Okay. Yep. Mm, gross. They look so good. They look just like peanuts, and you think they're going to taste good, but they totally suck. If you were to, like, solidify urine and try and eat that, that's pretty much what they taste <laughs> like. All right, I'm glad we're eating piss. <laughs> Feeling really low. The hunger's starting to really become an issue. I'm to the point where, like, I'm shaking almost constantly. Damn it. 
seriously, I'm gonna spear his. He's dinner. I need the machete. I got about 12 inch snake. See if you can chop through right there. <laughs> Woohoo! We got a snake! <laughs> yeah! Nice! Woo! Killing that snake was absolutely necessary. We were starving, we're hungry. I'm just, I'm so excited. Today, for your dining pleasure, we're offering crisp for a snake. He's a chef. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. This is delicious. Uh, it's so good. Good work. I'm pumped. Killing the snake. Me and Cassie have a decent little meal. And now we're ready to cruise on out of here like it's a camping trip on to extraction. Ah. All right, well, um, obviously this is not a good choice. We're in this wooded environment. We're getting our feet destroyed. There's a lot of dead trees on the ground and lots of sticks everywhere. Look at this. Here's our big lake. Hey, run run! 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 Hey! Oh! Yeah, bring it in! You gotta be kidding me. One pass? Come on. I think I hear him coming back around. Hey, right here he's landing. Come on! Yeah, yes, come yeah! on! High five. Team Canadia. Team Canadia. Come on. Damn right. Woo! Oh, wow. Easy, girl. I got you. Woohoo! Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Good job. All right. Okay. Appreciate it, bro. No problem. Let's go Bye. home. Bye, Canada. But once we both saw how much we're both willing to put in in order to make it, I think uh, we came to respect each other. Oh my God, we did it! If you have the patience to make your point, listen to theirs, you know, and come to a common ground, it's liberating. Even when things weren't working, we just stayed positive and kept trying new things. And, you know, I think it just shows you if you choose to survive, then you will and you can. Over the course of 21 days in Canada, Greg lost 30 pounds. Though he initially struggled to show his strengths, Greg ultimately answered every challenge he faced. <laughs> I have made fire. As a result, his PSR rises from 7.2 to 8.0. Almost losing her age and weight, Cassie dropped 21 pounds. While the cold never let up, neither did her resolve. She displayed the strength of a seasoned pro. Big thorns, big thorns. Her PSR increases from 6.7 to 7.8. High five, Team Canadia. Proving they can survive naked and afraid. No more monster to eat all of our food.